Hello! I see you're watching this video on YouTube. I highly recommend checking out the description below to find my channel on Odyssey and Library. The platform is ad-free after making an account and it has no evil overlords. Thank you! Hey folks! I got an interesting one for you today. Uh, you might be able to hear that the server rack is kind of loud. Um, usually it's not too bad, it's just a little bit of humming and one of the servers has a bit of a higher pitch. But that higher pitch one is a lot louder today, actually started yesterday than usual. So this is with the door closed. Um, I'll close the back as well. Well, I can't close the back, I've already got cables in there. But listen to the difference when I open the door. That almost sounds like a real server room that I've been in uh, at an actual like business. So the problem, I can show you real quick, is one of the fans is going bad. So the amber light is flashing. And if you open up this panel, it says that, uh, where is it? Fan number five is going bad. And just two months ago, I replaced fan number seven, so I know what to do now. And I thought I'd record it so that, um, you know, maybe we can all benefit from it or I can at least have some documentation for the future. So let me put you back up here. This should be really quick. I mean, first step is shut down the server and you want to let anyone know that who's using the server if it's like public or something that, you know, hey, it's going down. In my case, I'm fine. It's not really being used. Um, then once it's shut down, you also need a replacement part. So here's a fan. So that server, uh, these all three were just given to me. The top one has a consolidation of all the hardware from the other ones. So the other two I can just basically use for scraps. So I just pulled this out of one of the other ones and I'm gonna shut down the top one that's being used and unplug everything from it, pull it out, and we'll put it in. All right, shutting down. Listen for it. See, this is what it normally sounds like. Now I don't have to yell. <laughs> All right, so I'll get you a bit closer. We'll pull it out, I'll unplug everything, and then we'll get it replaced. So for those of you who haven't seen the internals of a server before, this one's got two processors. It's got the RAM, the power supplies are back here, PCI cards, and then the fans are all in a line up here, and then the hard drives are stored up here in the front. So it says fan number five right here, so just pop it out. And that's the amazing thing about server internals is that almost everything is plug and play. It's so easy to just pull out a power supply, you know, there's just a little latch and you just pull the latch over and it pulls right out, kind of just like this. So then to replace it, you just drop it in, click it in, lock it in, you're good to go. And the lid is also really easy to do. I mean, you put it on, you latch it, you're done. And if you want to take it back off, you just up and you're done. I mean, like, it's crazy the level of like difference between enterprise and consumer. Consumer, you're messing with screws and there's just a bunch of cabling and stuff. Enterprise is where it's at. And then, you know, if you've never dealt with a server that's like been mounted before, uh, this I actually just set up the server rack a year or two ago and it was also given to me with these servers. Uh, I mean, the rails are super easy. You just slide it in and let me see if it's in the shot. Yeah, it's kind of in the shot. So then you just pull these down and you literally just pull it out. So I don't have long enough cables in the back to actually keep it plugged in, but a lot of times system administrators, uh, well, at least from what I've heard, I don't know if it's actually good practice, you pull this out and it's, it's locked. So if you want to slide it back in, you've actually got to push two tabs here. But sometimes you can just you know put the monitor right on top you know, plug it all in, 
and basically use this as a work desk. I mean, this is like, this is, you know, not that tall. It's only like an inch tall. But it is so sturdy because these rails are so long. But yeah, let me slide this guy back in here. We'll get it powered back on and we'll make sure I put in the right fan. I actually uh, kept the old fan and put it in two different spots. I don't remember which one was the good one, so there's a chance you'll get to hear the super airplane noise, but we'll see. Okay, so everything's plugged in. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And I should also mention that Enterprise stuff is great, but it does take a while to post. So we might actually not know if it's working or not, like if it was the right fan for like two minutes while it goes through all the BIOS stuff and checks the ECC RAM and just, you know, runs through all its checks. So I might have to fast forward this a little bit, but I'll let you hear the server when it comes on. Normally when the server comes on, it's a little quiet. Like right now it's just on standby, standby and the power supplies might be making a little bit of noise but it'll ramp up and then it'll kind of settle back down and then once it gets to the OS that's when it gets I think the most quiet so let's get it going So right now it's a little excited because the OS is starting, but it looks like we're good to go. So fairly easy, I mean most things with enterprise stuff is easy. It This one's got this cool feature where it tells you what's wrong in this little what, whatever you call it, I don't know. <laughs> with my Dells, I honestly haven't had a problem, I've been running them for two or three years at least. Uh, I don't remember which one's which. I think this might be the 610 and these two are 710s. I always get them mixed up though, so. And then this is an HP ProLiant. I think it might be Gen 7, but I also don't know that for sure. These three were given to me for free. This one I actually got from work. They were deprecating a system. And these two, I think I also got them for free from the same guy as these and the rack, but he gave me these a few years earlier, and then eventually he wanted to downsize his setup, so he just gave me, basically, basically he told me it's free as long as I take everything, and I gave away a lot of stuff. So the only things I actually kept are these two uh, UPSs, these three HPs, and then the rack and stuff that was in the rack such as you know this the fan control the fan and maybe some of the networking stuff but yeah now you know how to change a fan don't know if you ever use the information but if you do it's easy and it's fun and i should also mention this is how it normally sounds but the door is still open so wait So much better. So much better. <laughs> you can't even begin to imagine what it sounds like when the fan actually dies because it turns all seven of the other fans to max. And I mean, I, I came in the house that day and just seriously thought the rack was on fire or something. I mean, it sounded insane. And I felt terrible for my cat and dog that had been trapped in the house all day with it. Um, yeah, I already signed off, so I guess I'm signing off again. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.